Now when we're looking at pressure and equilibrium, what we're looking for is which side has the most moles of gas. So if pressure is increased, the reaction will shift to the side with the least moles of gas or vice versa. So here we can add up a total of 2 moles and here we can add up a total of 4. Now you remember that um, 1 mole of gas takes up the same amount of volume no matter how big or small the particle is because the spacing between them is so great. So um, one mole of this gas and three moles of this gas uh, will give four moles of total gas. It doesn't really matter what type of gas it is, it'll all be the same volume. So if you increase the pressure here, that's going to put, cause this uh, to get squished and more stressed if you increase the pressure for the whole um, system. Uh, and so that's going to push things to this side. And so the nitrogen and hydrogen are going to turn into ammonia gas. So here we have percent of reacting gases converting to ammonia. And as you can see, as the pressure increases, the amount of ammonia, ammonia uh, also increases. We'll ignore our temperature until the coming, our coming video. Uh, and vice versa will also be true. If you decrease the pressure, uh, the reaction would then go in this direction instead.